Welcome to the Print and Cut training tutorial. In this tutorial, we will cover the print and cut process using the Cutout Studio Cutter and the Educator Plus Full Color Poster Printer. The print and cut process includes printing a full color graphic and then loading that print into the Cutout Studio to have the printed graphics contour cut out. For this tutorial, we will be designing, printing, and cutting out a workplace safety decal. Step 1. Designing the graphic to be printed. For this tutorial, we will be using the poster artist software that is used with the Educator Plus full color poster printer. Note, you can design the graphic you wish to print and cut using any program you desire. If you do not have the poster artist software, you can skip the poster artist portion of this tutorial. Open the poster artist program. For this tutorial, we will be using a graphic template located under the Signs and Notices category. Under Step 1, select Template. Scroll down the Categories drop-down box and select Signs and Notices. Continue to scroll down until you see the template Workplace Safety. Select the template to open. Step 2. Saving the graphic as a JPEG image file type. Once you have the design created that you would like to print, save the file as a JPEG file type. Note, save the file to a folder that you can easily locate. Step 3. Importing your saved JPEG file into the Sign Master program. At this time, you can close the Poster Artist software. Now you can open the Sign Master program included with the Cutout Studio system. Next, choose New Document to open a new document in Sign Master. Step 4. Changing the document size in Sign Master. When the new document opens, the default page size will be 8 and a half by 11 inches. For this tutorial, we will be changing the width of our document to match the width of our vinyl material we will be printing on using the Educator Plus poster printer. On the top quick icon menu bar, change the width to 23 inches. Step 5. Importing the JPEG file into Sign Master. From the top menu, choose the File menu and scroll down to Import. Navigate to the location that you previously saved the JPEG file and select the file to be opened. Your pointer will turn into a placement corner, which allows you to choose the location you would like the top left corner of your design to be placed on the blank document. For this tutorial, place the placement corner cursor in the top left corner of the blank document and click the left mouse button. Step 6. Resizing the imported graphic. To resize the graphic to your desired size, select the graphic and change the height or width dialog box located on the quick icon menu. For this tutorial, we will be changing the width to 3 inches. Step 7. Adding a cut contour path to our graphic. For the cutter to cut our graphic out, we need to apply and designate a path for the cutter to cut. We will do this using the Create Cut Contour function. The Create Cut Contour menu is located under the Apple on the Quick Icon toolbar. With the graphic selected, click the Apple icon and choose the Create Cut Contour menu. This will open the Create Cut Contour dialog box. A second box will open stating that images were detected and asking if you wish to include their auto trace contours. Select Yes. This will open the Image Contour Tracer dialog box. Press the Trace button located at the bottom of this window. You will see your graphic traced. After the trace has completed, press the Apply button at the bottom of the window. This will bring you back to the Create Cut Contour window. In the Create Cut Contour window, you will see several options on the right side. These options allow you to control what elements of your design will be cut out. 
You will notice the image of your graphic in this window will have a thin blue outline around elements in the design. This thin blue line represents the cut path. The options on the right allow you to change what is going to be cut. For this tutorial, we will only have the outline of our graphic cut out. To apply this option, we will click to uncheck the box titled Keep Holes. This will eliminate all cut paths inside the graphic and only cut the outer border of our design. Once this box is unchecked, press the Accept button at the bottom of this window. Step 8. Creating multiple copies of our graphic. For this tutorial, we created the width of our document to match the width of the material we will be printing onto. To create copies of our graphic so that we can fill up the material and avoid waste, you simply select the design and the cut path that is applied, and using the copy and paste quick icons, duplicate the graphic across the material. You can then duplicate the complete line of graphics for adding a second or third row. Step 9. Sending the job to the cutter. Once you have the number of graphics duplicated, you are ready to print and cut your graphics. Choose the apple located on the quick icon menu bar. Choose the menu Cut Contour Wizard from the pull down. This will launch the Cut Contour Wizard dialog window. Here you will see your graphics on a small page. Note, the graphic is extended off the page. This represents that our graphic is too large for the size selected. On the left side of this window, you will see four sections, cutting device, printing device, source options, and practice sheets. For this tutorial, we will be using the cutting device and the printing device sections. In the cutting device section, confirm that the cutout studio model number is selected, plotter cutter MC630. Next, navigate to the Printing Device section. Make sure that the Print Direct menu selection is selected. In the pull-down menu, choose your Canon printer model and press Properties. The Print Setup dialog box will open. Press the Properties button to open the Canon Printer Properties dialog box. Press the Page Setup tab. Change the page size to match the document size you created in Sign Master. For this tutorial, we will be changing the page size to 24 inch by 11 inch. To do this, press the drop down menu next to page size and scroll down to the custom paper size menu. Press the custom size option. This will open a custom size settings dialog box. Enter the 24 inch in the width section and the 11 inch in the height section. Press OK. Back at the Canon Properties dialog box, press the OK button. Back at the Printer Setup dialog box, press the OK button. At the Contour Cutting Wizard window, you will now see your graphics fitting on the page. Note, there is a dotted line around the outer edge of the page. This dotted line represents the workable area on this page. All graphics and registration marks must be inside this designated area. If any part of the graphics or the registration circles are on or outside the dotted line, select the graphics by placing your cursor on the graphics and clicking the left mouse button. You can then hold in the left mouse button and drag the graphics into the center of the page. Note the cursor will turn into a finger when hovered over the graphics. Once all the settings are completed, press the print button at the bottom of the window. This will send the print job to the printer. Note, do not close this window. Once you press print, the print button will turn to cut. The next step is loading the printed job into the cutout studio for contour cutting out the graphics. Step 10, contour cutting your printed graphics. Once the print job has completed, you will notice that your print has four registration circles in each corner. You will also notice a black triangle at the top of the printed graphics. This triangle represents the front or leading edge of your graphics. Load the printed graphics into your cutout studio with the printed triangle towards the front or leading edge of the material. Note, 
Make sure that you have enough space on the left and right sides of the loaded material to allow the cutting blade to reach all parts of your graphic. When positioning the pinch rollers on your material, it is important not to have the rollers positioned where they will roll through any printed areas. Position the left and right rollers outside the printed areas. Note when performing a print and cut, do not use the center pinch roller. Only use the left and right pinch rollers. Leave the center pinch roller lever up in the unlocked position. Once the material is loaded and the pinch rollers are locked into position, press the cut button. The Align Cut File Wizard dialog box will open. Follow the directions on the screen instructing you to move the cut blade position on the cutter to be above the far right registration circle and reset the home position on the cutter. Once this has been completed, press the next button. The cutter will respond by reading all four registration marks and then will start the cutting process. Note, before starting this step, you want to perform a test cut to assure the depth of your cut is correct. Press the Done button after the cutting process has completed. Congratulations, you have completed the Print and Cut tutorial by AGC Education. For additional training or support on any of our tools, please contact your product support specialist at 1-800-535-7553.